Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Lens and today we're going to be reviewing a hair wand off of Amazon. It's a six-in-one hair wand, so all of the wands are detachable and it can just get you so many different styles. Right now in the hair world, there's just so many cool hairstyles. The big wave is really in. I love usually this like one inch barrel wand for like big bouncy curls, but my hairstylist at Suki's last year did this like tiny tight curl and it looked so cute. I'll insert an image. And I just kind of wanted the option to experiment a little bit more with my hair. This was super inexpensive. I found it on Amazon for less than $40 Canadian. And again, there's just so many options. So I was like, no brainer. Easy peasy. I looked into other models like the T3 Micro on Sephora, but it was so overpriced. And I use these so much, so I usually have to replace them every like couple years. So for me, $40 was a no brainer. But I was just curious what the quality was like and just wanted to share with you guys. So today I'm gonna try each of the wands and just show you what kind of curl it creates and at the end I'll give you a full review. Let's get started. Before we get into the video, I just want to send a gentle reminder to subscribe to my channel. I talk everything fashion, hair, and skincare both on YouTube and Instagram and if you are on Instagram, I'll leave my handle here. I'd love to have you guys over there as well. Okay, my hair is down. And I want to start with the smallest wand and then work our way up just because I usually style my hair with big barrel curls and I'm going out tonight. So I want to style my hair with the big wand first, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys which each of them do. So we're going to start with the smallest and work our way up to the largest one. All right, so I'm just going to take a piece of hair and wrap it. I feel like the smaller curls just look so much better when it's like a full strand. This one got hot really fast, I'll give it that. Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice tight curl. And if you brush it out. Oh yeah, you could be curly curly. I think if you did a slicked back pony and did tight your entire ponytail like tight curls like this I think that would look so cool let's try the next one all right this is the next size here I don't know why but I never like the ones that are like thicker and then go to thinner so this might actually create a smaller curl than this one but let's see what happens I usually just leave the curl for about like 10 seconds or so until the hair feels hot whoa I think this one's actually a tighter curl than the last one. But it is a ringlet, and if you brush it out, whoo, that's a tight curl. <laughs> that would be so fun for like a super, super curly look if you did like a very simple outfit. Look how much shorter it makes my hair. <laughs> I've lost like inches of my length because that curl is so tight. But it could be fun to play with. I don't know how much use I'll get out of that size, but for like a party or an outfit, costume, or if you just want to do like a big head of curls, that would be pretty cute. Let's try the next one. All right, the next one is the exact same as the last one. It's a little bit thicker and goes to thinner, but in a more of a medium size. So let's give this guy a try. I feel like I could get use out of this one. I think it'll make... A tighter curl than what I'm used to I think it could be pretty I'm really into tighter curls lately versus just like a, a wave all right so that's what it creates oh I actually really like that I think brushed out will look even better oh yeah I think that an entire head of that and once you brush it out and let it loosen up I think would be beautiful cute okay the next wand is this which <laughs> is just a weird looking thing um I have no idea what result this is going to give my hair it was definitely one the one of the six that I was like I'm absolutely not going to use this but like we have to try right I just don't understand how I'm even supposed to like it's get I don't even understand how this really works but I feel 
like it's just gonna give it a really weird wave. My hair's not going over like the balls properly. Let's just see. Kind of just creates a normal curl. Am I using this wrong? <laughs> Honestly, just makes a normal curl. But it's like really uneven. Like, it seems like there's like a tighter curl within a bigger curl. Okay, so that one is a no for me. Like, probably never use again. Alright, one number five. We've got two more to go. This is kind of like a medium size. I think this is probably only like a half inch wand. Um, and I think. It's like one size smaller than what I normally use, so I'm really hoping this is one I'll use more often and it's the same size top to bottom, which is what I prefer versus the thick to thin. So I'm curious because I think I'm gonna like this a lot. Just for a tighter, more ringlety curl. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That is a nice curl. And just a little bit tighter than what I normally do. I think that's how I'm gonna curl my hair today. So cute, I love that size. All right, this is the sixth and last one. This is the 1.25 inch barrel wand, which is the wand I've used for years and love. So I kind of know what kind of curl we're gonna have but I just want to make sure it's as nice as previous ones but this is the kind of wand that will give you a nice like everyday bouncy curl hopefully but I mean every other curl has turned out pretty great aside from that weird wonky wand but I'm excited because this will be likely the wand I use the most but honestly, I loved that. That last one we used was really cute too. Yeah, see that gives you a nice loose curl and when you do your entire head and brush it out, it just turns into this like pretty wave. Yeah, that looks awesome. Very impressed. I think for tonight I'm actually gonna go back to this size and do my entire head. So I'll do that really quick and show you guys the full result. Fast forward 40 minutes later I have tons of curls, lots of ringlets and what I like to do is take a brush and brush out the curls. This is like the most satisfying part so let's do it. I'll show you guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh my god, I love. So that was the second largest wand. And that's kind of the results. I'd love for the curls to fall out a little bit more. But all in all, it is looking pretty cute. Alright guys, that's the end of today's video. That is the 6-in-1 wand I found on Amazon. I'll link it in the comments below. The final verdict, um, I would say for personal use, it's great. If you're a hairstylist or something, I probably wouldn't recommend. It's just a little bit tricky to get the wands on and off. So if you are switching those out like several times a day as a hairstylist, I would probably say no. But for the value, I think it's an excellent price for what you're getting. You're getting essentially getting 6 hair ones in one. That one was not great, but the rest of them I definitely will use. And I'm definitely impressed with how the curls turned out. Each one of them was super cute and yeah, overall I'm pretty happy and it was well worth the $40. It doesn't really have a name brand, so I'm sorry I don't have more info on like the company or anything, but again, it'll be in the comments below and let me know if you guys try it out. And we'll see you guys next time. Again, gentle reminder to subscribe to my channel for more fashion, hair, and skincare. And my Instagram is at Lynn's Rossa. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.
I just had to throw this in at the end of the video but I did my hair originally on Saturday today is Wednesday and I I promise I have not touched my hair touched up the curls or anything and look at how well the curl is holding my hair does hold curl but not like this like this is insane this is what day Saturday day five of these curls what I clearly have to wash my hair today but five days five days okay bye